everybody, welcome back to round two. We've got uh, not a great starting hand, but we do have a three drop and a four drop. And we've got three of our colors. I'd prefer to see green, but I'll keep it. I'm not willing to risk uh, going much lower. Basically, as long as we draw stuff, we're good. But how many times have magic players said that? Stuff? Nope. Land. Not only that, but a land that we totally don't need after having the uh, Swift Water Cliffs. <clears throat> Blue, black. This could get gross. <laughs> Hedonist's Trove. Well, I did say stuff, didn't I? gonna see <laughs> uh, enjoy that enjoy seeing and trying to figure out what on earth I'm doing he's gonna take the acid spear dragon I assume he takes the heat in this drove all right sure thing I think that's new it shows everything that was in their hand that's kind of nice actually don't have to write it down or anything. Um, yeah, we're not getting much of anything. So he knows exactly what morph that is. Need to draw some stuff. He drops an Ukid Cobra. Ukud Cobra. I wonder what the actual pronunciation is on Ukud. Um, that's going to slow us down for a very significant amount of time. Um, yeah. Quite a good card. I feel like I might have been originally a little bit down on it, but it's solid. Alright, and then we wait for him to pass the turn, because... Nothing else he can do. We're going to drop our Outriders. They are not going to have Formidable, not that it would kill the Cobra anyways. And we're going to need to draw some Not Lands. Alright, there we go, he finally passed. Oh, and now we have to wait for him to pass the second main phase. Uh, let me guess. Double queuing, I bet. You know, not that my time's worth anything. Have I mentioned how rude I find double queuing? And he's finally passed that, alright. Hey, yeah, uh, let's just draw nothing but lands. That sounds great. Drop our 4 2, pass the turn. No attacks. <clears throat> and then wait for him to the, there we go finally alright what's well going to come down is a 5 drop something scary just going to wait a while. There we go. Shore Crasher Elemental. Awesome. That's, that's, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. What do we do against that? I don't even know. Don't even know. We draw Shuyan, that's what. Don't think that does anything, but we still drew it. This is whenever Sabretooth Outrider attacks, I think. Yep. Not when he blocks, unfortunately. Oh, 
This is going to be a slow, obnoxious game, I think. He's going to attack in with that short crasher, I bet. Oh, no, he's not. Interesting. Well then. Passes the turn with a whole lot of mana left up. Whole lot of mana left up. What are we going to do about that? I think not much, because we can't really afford to sack any of these guys to the butcher. Um, the shore crasher, he could just make it bigger or just exile it. Maybe he's just going to exile it here. What's the uh, Megamorph cost? Five. And does it happen automatically? Yeah, it happens automatically. Oh, he's going to anticipate. All right. That's good. So next turn, we can unmorph that dragon. If it lives, it may just not live. Updraft Elemental, a 1 4 flyer. Not entirely sure what the point of that is, but sure. Don't know that I'd ever want to play that. Still not coming in with anything, alright. Foul Renewal, eh? That could maybe be useful. What's going to happen here? He's going to tap down the Sabertooth, and it's going to stay on tapped. Er, tapped. I guess that's fine. I could attack in with that for four. Actually, you know what? That Short Crasher Elemental is uh, pretty vulnerable right now. So I think I'm just going to kill it. I'm going to... Butcher. Sacking Shu Yun. And blowing up Short Crasher. Uh, so, yes, I want to use it. Sacking. Well, actually, is this power or toughness? It's toughness. So, it's going to be minus two. So, maybe I just sack the Butcher to itself. And then I can foul renewal in another turn for another minus three, minus three. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So let's do that. Kill the shore crasher. And pass the turn. <clears throat> He's going to rebound, tap down the, I don't know, dragon maybe. Uh, no, he's going to tap down Shu Yun. Alright, sure. And this is hand or battlefield? Hand. Battlefield would cost a lot more, I imagine. River Prowler, sure. Don't terribly care about that. He's going to swing in, maybe? For one? Sure, take me to 20. Be my guest. Ooh, Savage Vent Ma. Wish I had some green, eh? Wish I had some green. Um, so, I could attack and morph. I could just pass the turn and do Surprise Foul Renewal. I think I'll pass the turn, see if I have a foul renewal target, otherwise on morph the dragon. He's got two cards in hand.
Ooh, he's gonna put down his own butcher, eh? Then is he gonna sack the updraft elemental? To do what? Blow up Sabretooth or to blow up Shu Yun. Okay, sure, do it. Be my guest. He is going to come in for two. That's fine. I will foul renewal, bringing back the butcher, uh, killing that butcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That all sounds good to me. So let's go foul renewal, butcher, butcher. Back to my hand. What do we get? Windscarred Crag. Still no green, unfortunately. So, we will just on morph, I suppose. And swing in for four. Taking him to 16. He's got one card in hand, two cards now. He's going to come in for two. That's fine. He's playing pretty speedy now, so I assume he didn't top deck anything. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, Butcher's Glee. That looks fun. We're coming in with everything. We're going to give first strike. Or he gets first strike, okay. So he gets first strike. If he blocks with the Cobra, we're gonna butcher's glee it. He does block, so we will butcher's glee. Blow that Cobra right up. He's going to throw a coat with Venom on it. That doesn't matter. I'm still going to have first strike. Oh, he's going to throw a second coat with Venom on it. Um, I mean, my guy still is going to regenerate, so... Oh, I, I guess he does survive because the plus twos. Yeah. I mean, that's fine, I guess. If I wanted to, I could Cylindar Butcher and just finish it. And he's got no cards in hand, so I think I will. Sacking Butcher itself, killing off that Cobra. And we're suddenly in a good spot. He's got no cards, he's got no blockers. We're threatening eight a turn. And he gives up, awesome. And we had some stuff coming, uh, well, not stuff exactly. <laughs> but we pulled out a win, I'm not sure how, but we did. Um, any changes I would make? I'm not sure. If he has blue-black control, Mind Rock could be okay just to get some stuff out of him. Is there anything not good? Um, hmm. I wouldn't say there's anything not good exactly outside of that, but we can't get rid of it. So we'll just go jump right back in, see if we can do that again. All right, we're back for game two. Our opponents kept their seven. They're playing first. We've got red and green, no black. We do have a couple of three drops. I'll keep it. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Did lose a little bit of time. Had to restart Magic Online. The screen was just black for some reason. Typhoid rats. All right. Uh, there's a black card that I'm going to want to swamp for someday. Be really good with Calcisma, actually. But I think we're just going to dash in Scream Reach next turn. Another Typhoid Rats, alright. Well, that uh, dragon that pings everything would be pretty nice. Um, well, there's our blue. <coughs> I think I'll just go with the 
dashed in scream reach and try to get one of these rats down. I don't think it would be wise for him to block, but I think he will. Yeah, he did. Awesome. So there's one rat down for a very low investment. He's going to anticipate, sure thing. Get himself a card. And then we're going to, I think, Calcisma. He hasn't played a land yet. Is he waiting until second main, or is he going to miss a land drop? Missing a land drop. Awesome. That's what we like to see here on Wacky Wednesday. Uh, Evolving Wilds. Interesting. I think we'll just drop the Calcisma, though. Don't know if we'll attack with it next turn. Well, maybe we will, actually. Depends on if he attacks with the rats, of course. Drops a Jeskai Sage. Sure thing. No attacks. All right. So we're going to slow this game down a bit. Um, let's drop the Dismal Backwater. And then I'm going to Tormenting Voice, throwing away the Windscarred Crag. It means, unfortunately, we'll never cast Rally the Ancestors, but we don't want to do that anyways. And we get some lands. Not great cards, but we got them off the top, so... Presumably there's not a bunch of lands left on top, but who knows? So it's toughness, right? It's toughness. That Scream Reach is a minus three, minus three spell. He's going to reduce in his stature the Calcisma. All right, that's fine, I guess. It's going to make me much more readily willing to block with it. He's going to hit me for two, that's fine. Um, drop a swamp. Uh, drop Shuyan, I suppose. And pass the turn. Alright, come on, not lands. He's starting to hit his land drops now. He's only two behind. He's going to come in for one. I'm totally okay with that. Draconic Roar, eh? going to pass the turn. Leave up Foul Renewal, leave up Draconic Roar. Give myself some options. He's going to flatten Shu Yun. Nothing I can do about that, so yeah, that happens. I could have made him a 5-4, but that still wouldn't have been enough. But I can just Foul Renewal Shuyan if I want to. If I need a minus two, minus two, I'd prefer something a bit bigger, though. So we've got Calcisma as a blocker. Is he dashing that in? No, he's just playing it. All right. He's going to come in with them. So I am going to block the Typhoid Rats in order to uh, get a really big Foul Renewal happening. Oh, I only need to pay two, not three. Oh well, that's going to be a wasted mana, because I can't untap that, unfortunately. That's a pain. Not a huge deal, though. Ooh, Palace Siege. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Maybe I just Palace Siege choosing cons.
two, four, five. Yeah, let's just Palisades choose and cons. So next turn I'll return, I guess, Calcisma. They come straight to the battlefield too, right? Oh no, they do go to your hand. Oh well, that's fine still. They're all cheap creatures. A morph? Sure thing. He's going to come in for four, that's fine. I'm going to bring back Shu Yun. Well, maybe I bring back Scream Reach, actually. He can block everything on board right now. So let's bring back that. Hedonist Trove. I would get back some fun stuff. I'll wait another turn or two for that, though. So we'll cast that guy that we just did. That leaves up Draconic Roar or Foul Renewal. We'll see what I need to do. Well, Evolving Wilds. He is going to updraft elemental, sure. None of my concern. So is he going to swing in with anything? Sage and Skirmisher, eh? So I bet he has coat with Venom. So, I'm going to block the morph. We'll see if he has coat with Venom. He does. So that's going to make that a 3 4. Is that right? Yeah, so that's going to make that a 3 4. I don't know that he. Uh, I don't trust that he doesn't have another one, so I'm not going to use the Foul Renewal just yet. Although I could just use it on the Skirmisher, but I'd prefer to kill off the Morph. Yeah, we'll just take the 4 here. And then I think we'll Draconic Roar right now. Killing that off. We'll bring back that Scream Reach again. Oh, I didn't Evolving Wilds, damn it. Oh well, I've got so much mana. <laughs> Alright, so we'll cast that again. So that leaves us with a blocker. We'll Foul Renewal, bringing back Calcisma, blowing up the morph. It was a Marshalk. It's pretty big. Um, we'll Evolving Wilds now, just so I stop forgetting it. Let's go and get a, uh, I don't know, Swamp. And then we'll pass the turn again. Hedonist Trove will get us some stuff, and some good stuff at that. He's going to flatten that, that's a pain. So he's going to come in for 2, 3, 4. I'm going to go down to 3, actually. It's not the best. So we're going to bring back... Uh, Shoot Yun this time. And we're going to draw a mountain, of course. So we'll pop down Shu Yun. We'll pop down Cal Sisma. And we'll pass the turn. But fortunately, he can just do three in the air over the next three turns. We can Hedonist Trove and get Flattens or whatever we need to do to 
get rid of that updraft. Ancient carp. Alright, sure. So he's going to come in the air for one. Be my guest. I'm going to bring back Scream Reach. I think that's the only one I have, right? Yep. And what do we draw? A Tarka Freet, eh? Well, we need to heed in this trove now because we need access to that removal that he has. Uh, Shuyan, I'm not going to pay for it. So we're going to get access to his entire graveyard. And what can we currently use? We could use Coat with Venom. We could play a Typhoid Rat. Um, we could just get rid of that flyer, and I think that's what we have to do. So, so let's do that. Shu Yun's a 5 4. Oh, I'm still just dead, aren't I? Yeah, I'm still just dead. Because I can't block with the Calcisma. Sigh. Maybe he doesn't realize it. Maybe he doesn't realize it. He realized it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, we got close. It would suck if the top card was Butcher's Glee, and it wasn't good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was... Despite the life totals, surprisingly close, I think. Um, we were a turn away from really taking over control. We could have double flattened. Um, stuff could have happened there, but we need to jump back in and try to do that and not fail quite as much. All right, let's jump back into this game three, play first, and hopefully pull it out. Uh, we've got an Evolving Wilds, which I really like to see in the starting hand. We've got a three drop. We can go and get our black. I'm happy with that. Totally happy with that. So we will Evolving Wilds, get a Swamp, play Mountain, Mountain, Calcisma. Wilds, crack it. Get a Swamp, pass the turn. And let's watch him magically play super fast, because he's uh, short on time. I mean, I'm not that far behind him, but... He played pretty damn slow that first game. Pass the turn. There's the swamp we searched for. So now we have to hope for a forest if we get our two uh, big bad dragons. Coligan Skirmisher, alright. Might just drop the Hooded Assassin. Ooh, Palace Siege. I think we'll do dragons this time around. Um, yeah, I'm just going to drop this with a counter on it. Block that skirmisher. <clears throat> well, he's looking a little bit color screwed, which is nice. Another typhoid rat, sure thing. Swings in, totally fine with that. Uh, dragon fodder, eh? Yeah, let's drop dragon fodder down. They'll be good blockers against typhoid rats. And the next turn we palace siege, choosing dragons, and we start playing the uh, grindy long game. Because if he wants to be hitting me with one ones, me gaining two life a turn is gonna slow that down. Alright, 
What's he gonna do? Well, there's his blue. Maybe he wasn't color screwed. Maybe he was just playing out his swamps first. Is he gonna attack? He is. So I assume we're gonna see some coat with venoms here. Can't have three though, can he? All right, clear board, cool. And passed the turn, very cool. <laughs> um, not entirely sure what that was all about, but we're gonna palace siege choosing and dragons. And he feels like he's F6, so I'm gonna attack. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe I'm gonna get surprised here. Nope, in for two. And unless we top deck a forest, I'll call Sisma Behemoth next turn. I'd love to top deck a forest, though. Ah, uh, pitiless horde, gross. But I feel like I can race-ish that. So I'm going to take 5, but I'm going to gain 2, so I only take 3. And he's going to take 5 a turn. Ooh, a Tarka Freet. Let's get in for 2. Let's drop the Afrit. Pass the turn. If he wants to pay to this Horde again, I'm totally okay with that, because I'll hit him for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 next turn taking him to four after this resolves. Of course, by that same token, he also can't terribly sit around establishing his board because Palisade is just going to tick away at him. I'm really confused by what that triple attack was that, you know, just decimated his board. Maybe it was just desperation or he's tired of it or something. Well, he's thinking about what to do. Doesn't terribly have the time to do that, though. He's down to six minutes. Alright, he's just going to flatten my morph. Well, that sounds okay. Sounds totally okay. Not a good foul renewal target, but that's okay. We're going to drain him for two again. We're going to bash in for two. We're going to say, boy, don't we wish we had a forest. Drop Calcisma. It's available to block. Sounds good. <clears throat> He's going to reduce in stature it. Sure thing. And he gives up. <laughs> All right, so what was going to happen here? We were going to draw not much, really. We could have played his little things. But yeah, we pulled off a win somehow. We're one and one with this uh, technically five-color, awful rare draft deck. But uh, I'll see you guys for round three, which has got to be starting pretty soon.